Today, let's learn some speed ramping. All right, so drop your clip into the timeline that you want to slow down. Uh, let's watch it all the way through. That was pathetic, but you get the idea. Okay, now what you want to do is let's uh, use using, using the mouse scroll wheel. You can make this larger here, so you can see what you're working with. This isn't for the thumbnail; it's for this line right here. This allows you to manually control the keyframes. Um, by default, this is set to opacity. So if you grab that line and drag it down, you're lowering the opacity of the clip. We don't want to be doing that. Instead, right-click on the clip, show clip keyframes, time remapping, and speed. Click on that. Now this is set to uh, the speed. If you were to drag this down, it'll lower the speed of the entire clip. Of course, it gets longer because um, you know, you're slowing time down, you're making the clip longer. Now with this clip, we don't want to make the entire clip slow. We want just a portion of it to slow down. So let's watch the clip and stop it where right when we want the action to slow down. Let's say right, you know, right about here, we want it to slow down. Now hold down Control or Command on a Mac and click right there on the timeline. And that right there is a keyframe. So you're telling Premiere, I want the speed to do something at this point, either before or after. We'll get to it. And let's watch it uh, all, all the way through and see where we want the action to speed back up to 100%. Let's say right here. Control, click right there. And there you go. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. I'm hitting the plus key on the keyboard. And now what I'll do is, here's, this, the entire thing's 100%, but I made two keyframes here. I'm going to click right between it. I'm going to grab that line and drag it down. See, it says 86%, 78%. I'm slowing it down just at this one spot between the two keyframes. Zoom back out, minus. It's not changing the speed of the audio, so you can just kill the audio. So let's watch that one more time. Now, when you go even more dramatic with it, let's say we want it at like you know, 45%. The shift between 100% and 45% becomes very apparent, and I don't want that. That looks a little bit immature. So what we want to do is we want to grab this right here, grab the handle of this keyframe, and drag it. And what you were doing is, see how that, this line is right here perfectly in the middle. It kind of goes down and then it goes over at the lower speed. What that does is it it gradually slows it down for as long as you want. So you want a nice, like a, you want a really slow transition? There you go. Watch that. And back to 100%. And you do the same thing on this side as well. Now let's say right at the tail end of it, you want you want the person to come up really quick because that that's a little bit slow. So hold down Control here. So now between here and here is a new keyframe. Let's grab this and bring it up. Say 125 percent, 124 percent. Now what's going to happen is it'll be going 100 percent. It'll slow down to about 45, and it'll it'll transition from 45 to about 125 percent before it goes back to 100. There you go. It is that easy. And then, of course, just keep working with the clip and tweaking it, throw some color correction on it, things like that, and you're good to go. If you found that helpful, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe because I've got new videos coming out every week. I haven't done this in years. I hope I do not injure myself. But if I do, at least it's on video, right? Oh. <laughs> Too hard.